What's up YouTube? It's Angie the Neonex and I'm back. Today I'm into connecting my Surface Duo to an external display. Now, I know I've had the device for quite a while. Um, many of you have shared in my journey with the device so far. Uh, one of you did ask me what method could I use to connect the Duo to an external monitor? And I had to think about it because su surprisingly, with all my use of the device, that wasn't one of the use cases for it that I had. I always had things like the V60 and uh, my Note 8 with DeX and even the, the Fold and now the F. 20 or S20 FE all have DEX and DEX has been my go-to option for connecting to an external monitor because you get that al almost PC equivalent experience and it, it comes very handy when you're on on the go and all of that if you have the right accessories so he posed that question to me and I'm like huh I've never tried to hook my Duo up to an external display. How hard could it be? And what would be the most efficient method to do it? Now, what I found when I tried to do this was it actually wasn't as easy as I had hoped. Surprisingly, the Duo does not hook up wired to an external display without a dock of some sort. Now this struck me as a surprise because all of Microsoft's other devices, or at least their phones that came before, we have the Alcatel Idol 4S, a Windows mobile device from yesteryear, which was my first, um, exposure to uh, can, having a PC experience on a mobile device when hooked up to um, an external display. Now Microsoft did the software for these amazing devices and they indeed had what was called at the time Continuum. Continuum uh, allowed them to connect wired or wirelessly to an external display, wirelessly if you had mirror, mirror cast, and wired if you had one of their docks. So of course I have to attempt to solve this issue, but I really did want to see how exactly to hook this guy up to a display, even if it wasn't my laptop, perhaps my TV. So I looked online, I indeed found certain docks that could be used. Uh, people uh, were showing pictures of the docks that they had and showing how well it worked. But those things were kind of, well not big, but they required an external power source, a plug, and to me it kind of took away from the portability of the Duo. I mean, yes, you probably aren't going to car carry around a portable screen or a lab dock like uh, the HP one here. Unless of course, maybe you have the one of those next docks, which I would love to get my, my hands on. But I did re recall that they did say this could connect wirelessly to Miracast. And in my adventures from long ago or on my ad adventures, I did come across this little piece of amazing technology. This is a Microsoft Miracast dongle. I bought this some years ago before Chromecast, before any of that. Now what this allowed me to do was to, at the time, stream any of my Android devi device devices. But even then, before the whole YouTube thing and me talking to you guys, I still had a thing about tech. 
this was what I used to if I had a movie on my phone or a website or whatever it was. I could connect this device to any television and then go into the mirroring option on my phone and be able to mirror the screen on my device. Now, this here, as old as it might be, just might be the perfect solution to putting this on that. Let's take a look. Now, for this, not only am I going to use the dongle, but I also have this handy dandy HDMI extender. I think this came with maybe my fire stick. I'm not sure. I have like two or three of these. I, I really don't know where I got them all from, but I think it was the fire stick. I, th I think this I did come with one too, but I don't think this is the one for this, but it does work. Now, the way it works here is with my particular television, the eight DMIs are at oh, at the bottom and they face they face down. And there is a little part of the TV that, that comes out, that juts out from the back of the TV. There's some components in there for the, uh, the television. And there's really enough space for this to plug in. So, connect this guy. And now we have a nice little bend where we, we can navigate up around the area that juts out and we're free to use this as we need. Now, this also doesn't take much power. This doesn't require you to plug it into the wall. Most of these TVs have a USB port on them. All you need to do is plug this into the HDMI, plug this here into the USB, and it's powered up and ready to go. Now there you see I have my Miracast hooked up to the television. It says that it's waiting for a connection and that connection could be any device that supports Miracast. That's why the device was to me ahead of its time and even now it could still be used in, in many a situ situation. Now I'm just going to set up my keyboard, the same keyboard that I did show you guys before, the black one that unfolds like an of, of accordion and I'm going to sync here a Bluetooth mouse just so I can have mouse over capability on my device. So my device is my devices are paired, my mouse and my keyboard. Now let's sync the surface to this Miracast dongle. Now in the surface itself it's, a, it's as simple as you pull down and just press go to the cast option and there it, it, it is. And just like that, the surface is connected to the mirror cast. As you can see, the mouse works just fine. I'm able to scroll around, uh, scroll through all of my different pages that I have on my home, my home screen. And to me, the, the most important or the most impressive aspect of all of this is, I mean, I guess it, it shouldn't be, but still having access to the uh, dual apps. It's just a nice little feature, being able to have your two apps side by side, any two apps going at once. It's just very fun to have. But to close down the, with me, it's just a e tap here because I don't have swipe. I guess with the swipe, I have to swipe up with the mouse, perhaps. Don't really know. But everything seems to work fine. There goes my pull downs, there goes my notifications. They're all there. You can go online. See, I was there trying to find out some more about tap. That one-handed 
keyboard, you know, I do my research and I'm always into something else. And, and you could be on that, you could be on any number of things. Now this in itself is actually pretty good because um, if you have, were to have this dongle and let's say you were one of us to travel for work, uh, well, I know that was a thing. I don't know if that is still a thing. But if you're one who wants to travel for work and you did have a duo, but there are those times you just want the larger screen. You can see more or how, whatever the case is. You could do something like even with uh, a good chat, providing you were facing the screen, which of course you should be. You can still definitely be in a bitch out here while taking notes here and you would just see everything on your large screen. It is a lot easier, maybe even a little more fun if you really think uh, about it. This dongle to me, it's one of the better ways to go about, at least with the duo, which you know to me is all about portable productivity. This dongle makes that productivity that much more portable simply because you don't have to car carry around a heavy dock with you when you are on the go. You carry around the dongle and you plug it into any screen, your hotel TV, any screen with an HDMI. Plug it in there and you have a large screen to view more of your work probably and it'll be easier to get it done while out and about. No extra plugs, no large docks, and it's small, small enough to fit in your inner pocket if you wanted it to. And of course with the Duo's dual screen and its uh, dual screen functionality, it fits very well into this whole uh, mirror cast work and environment because it can uh, it can adjust very easy to whatever it is doing that's right. so we Well, like I said, this is just a quick overview of the Microsoft Mericast dongle. And to my knowledge, it should be readily available at the Microsoft Store. Is this the store? Yes, it is. So this is the Microsoft Store. Uh, let's see uh, if they still carry, well, they should still carry the display. Uh, looks like they got upgraded because uh, it says here, oh, it didn't expand how I thought they did. Uh, display. So here it says the new Microsoft 4K wireless display. Uh, it's a little bit more than what I pay, but it is here for those who want to uh, try this part, particular way of getting your service duo or, or any other device for that matter your laptop or a, another uh, mobile device onto a larger screen um, if you do have an interest in it you, you know it is there you to try it out let's see how much it is here
So as as you can see, they do have the okay, two different versions of the adapt uh, of the Mercas adapter now. You have the 4K one and a V2, I guess a smaller version of the one that I have. So if you do have an interest in getting this this type of device, I will have the uh, links in the description below for those who want to, you know, continue to upgrade the efficiency of your Surface Duo. So with that said, my name is Angie with the Neon X and the Surface Duo and the Miracast dongle by Microsoft. This is what I'm into.